Watch out. Harry mouthing off about U.S. politics in his U.N. speech. They should retreat. Prince Harry was accused of dabbling in American politics with his limited understanding. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited New York on Monday, and Harry delivered a remarkable speech at the United Nations. There, he boldly advocated world leaders for attacking the Democratic and Liberal Party. In response to Harry's harsh words, Spectator editor Amber Athey accused the prince of using profanity with American politics. She said, Harry knows nothing about American politics, yet he has spoken out to the leaders. He has violated our founding principles. He is being excluded from America. Amber's statement immediately caught the attention of the media. She frankly said, Prince Harry, who only lives here because his wife is doing animated voiceovers for Netflix, routinely opines on our Constitution with all of the British pomposity that led to the Revolutionary War. Newsflash, Americans do not like it when foreigners tell us what to do or how we should feel. And yet, Prince Harry, do I even have to use his title anymore? is too arrogant and lacking in self-awareness to sit down and shut up. Prince Harry was horribly despised after his scathing speech at the United Nations on Nelson Mandela International Day. Experts underestimate Harry's understanding of politics. They advised the couple to retreat from this direction. It won't give them the results they deserve. Both Harry and Meghan violate the founding principles of American politicians. Over the past two years, Meghan has deliberately broken the traditional commitment between the UK and the US. She used her British royal title to connect with American politicians. Moreover, she deeply interfered with the way the authorities worked. Meghan Markle has been reprimanded many times but still no change. Harry does not have U.S. citizenship yet, so he is considered a foreigner in this country. Harry has been accused of grossly meddling in American politics through his series of harsh criticisms of leaders. The Duke addressed many social issues in his speech, such as climate change, the COVID pandemic, the war in Ukraine, and Roe v. Wade, abortion law in the U.S., he said, this has been a painful year in a painful decade. We're living through a pandemic that continues to ravage communities in every corner of the globe. Climate change wreaking havoc on our planet with the most vulnerable suffering most of all. The few weaponizing lies and disinformation at the expense of the many. And from the horrific war in Ukraine to the rolling back of constitutional rights here in the United States, we are witnessing a global assault on democracy and freedom, the cause of Mandela's life. The question is, who gave Harry permission to make his comments on American politics? Many people accuse Meghan of making Harry a feminist through a conversation with Gloria Steinem a few weeks ago. She said, my husband, Harry is also a feminist. He has harsh reactions to the rejection of Roe v. Wade. He feels the same anger as I do. Meghan's statement caused a huge controversy. The audience wondered what both did to be considered feminist activists in the U.S. Harry and Meghan were asked the same question when they were both presented with the President's Award at the NAACP Image Awards. The couple received awards for their community activities. People wonder what they've done in the past two years to get this title. The Duke and Duchess were immediately suspected of bribing the prize to polish their name in the U.S. Netizens asserted, They don't do anything for us. I bet they bought this award with big money to boost their popularity. They don't deserve it. Similarly, in his speech, the audience stated that Harry has no right to interfere in the politics of any country other than England. 
He's a member of the royal family, and breaking his commitment will have dire consequences. According to experts, many American leaders feel disheartened when listening to Harry's speech. Most people get up and get out. A photo of Harry in the United Nations made the audience laugh. One person commented, "Oh my God, he is giving a speech in an empty room. What is he doing there? I think he's not reputable." Yes, the United Nations threw Harry a remarkable scorn on Nelson Mandela International Day. Many people think that Harry and Meghan are just borrowing their meeting room to practice speaking. It was not a formal meeting. A royal expert also confirmed the couple only went there for Mandela's day. The General Assembly does not come until September. So, what role do Harry and Meghan play in this trip? Experts say Meghan is looking to train Harry to become her right-hand man in her desirable political path. In just a few years, Meghan Markle will stand to run for president. Which is the biggest dream of Meghan's life? To do that, both she and Harry must work to please the people. So, reaching the audience from these little speeches will be their first step. However, it was a shame when the audience discovered that Harry's speech had plagiarized Williams. The eagle eyes found similarities in the two speeches of the two British princes. In 2021. William gave a successful speech at the Scottish Church. He mentioned his shock about Diana's death. Harry did the same. William said, "And in the dark days of grief that followed, I found comfort and solace in the Scottish outdoors. It was here in Scotland twenty years ago that I first met Catherine. Needless to say, the time when you meet your future wife holds a very special place in your heart." You will be startled to realize the same meaning in Harry's speech. He said, "Africa, it's where I felt closest to my mother and sought solace after she died, and where I knew I'd found a soulmate in my wife." Experts advise that Harry should fire the person who wrote his speech because it is too much plagiarism. Experts laugh at this silly similarity. Prince Harry lost his mind when he refused to censor it. Before it was released to the media, did he not recognize the similarity, or was he deliberately trying to be like William? A royal expert has defended Harry that he suffers from a fear of public speaking. Maybe for this reason, he didn't realize the mistake of the employee. Harry was seen extremely tense before going to speak before the United Nations. One viewer commented. Harry's face is red like a fever during his speech. He always holds Meghan's hand but doesn't say anything. He's so nervous he faints. What do you think about Prince Harry's speech? Are editor Amber Athey's accusations about Harry consistent with founding principles in America? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. See you in the next videos. See ya.